Sut Beng, are you going to clean this up? Don't talk to me. I have 30 more papers to mark and class starts in 30 minutes. Do you always have to confiscate everything? Well, there will be no eating in my class. How about this? Yeah, I told Debbie I was going to take care of that. But it's dead. You don't know that. I'm pretty sure this means it's dead. Well, then just throw it away. That's not part of my job scope. That is exactly part of your job scope. The teacher teaches and the cleaner cleans. So clean it up. If nobody appreciates me, then you clean it up yourself. I quit. Well, cleaning isn't that hard anyway. She thinks it's very easy. <laughs> Let's watch her do it herself. So, Suti, heard we are working together. Stop calling me that you are no longer my husband. Well, since we are working together, I just thought to let you know that we'll be conducting our yearly cleanliness inspection. But I'm sure that's no cause for concern, right? Wait, when's this happening again? Before tomorrow morning's assembly. Ah, of course. No cause for concern at all. Good. Guys, 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 guys! The organisation is planning to have an inspection. Oh, that's okay. I mean, we can get the students to cut their hair and then check some uniforms. No, 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 no. The organisation is planning to do a cleanliness inspection in the staff room. Ah, uh, don't worry. When is it? Like next month? Or next week? Like tomorrow. Ah. Huh? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I don't even teach mathematics. I can't get it. It's working. Why do they give so much homework? What's going on, Shirley? Isn't it just an inspection? Oh, you haven't met the organization. But how bad can it be? But you're going to find out. Now, first of all, go back to the table, clean up, clean up. Oh, no one gets in trouble. So, oh my God, where's the bin? Where's, where's the bin? Where's the bin? It is always happening at the most random time of the year. Like last year. We had it on Teacher's Day, and the year before, Valentine's Day, and this year, Friday. Oh my god. Alright teachers, calm down, calm down. There's no need to panic. We have ample of time to get everything in order. Alright, if anyone needs me, I'll be in my office doing some work. I've always emphasised the importance of cleanliness amongst the teachers. It is only right for them to set a good example to the students. If they are unable to do so and get into trouble, then perhaps they only have themselves to blame. Oh, goodness. I might be in trouble. Look big, look big, look big, look big! Uh, what's this doing here? <laughs> Teachers of Titan Academy, calm down and stop panicking. Huh? Calm down and stop panicking. We simply have to get ourselves organised and come up with an appropriate action plan for this situation. Starting with those boxes back here. Anyone have any ideas? Oh, oh, me! I have an idea, I have an idea. How about we form a single file line and then we form a human chain to carry out the boxes? A uh, human chain? Mr. Dan, this is not the right time to play some childish B games. Yeah, can we get a suggestion from a real teacher? How about we form a single file line and pass boxes to one another and out of the stuff room? Excellent idea! Like a human chain! Let's get to it. Boring. No wonder students hate it. I think cleaning is quite therapeutic and it's a great exercise for everyone. Well, I happen to have great connections with all my students. So, in trying times like this, <laughs> I'm able to call upon the strength of our youth. 
Hi, I heard someone needed our help. Oh, Miss Hannah! Man, can't let you carry that all by yourself. Yep. Yo, come no, on, guys. You want to be injured or something? Okay, I got it, Miss Hannah. It's okay. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. Let me help you. Let me help you. All the students are extremely helpful. It makes me feel so warm and snuggly. <gasps> so, I noticed that you were carrying this pen. It might be too heavy. I'll just put it in your bag. I'll put it in your bag. And done, Miss Hannah. Oh, great job, Jin Hao. I'm really proud of you. I know, right? I literally moved the boxes from there to here. And these guys, they're just slowing me down. What? What? You only carry one box. Look, Miss Hannah, I carry two. Two? <laughs> That's lame. I can carry three. Look at that. All right, big man. How about four? Huh? How about four? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, man. Oh. It's just on four. Honestly, look at him. It's clearly his fault. All three of you, detention now! And get out of the staff room! Okay, so one, two, three. So sorry, you gotta... Not hurt Jian Hao, you. I knew it. I knew it! Hey, it's all because of you, Kevin. It's you, man. Look at me, I can give you two boxes. Look at me. Good job, Jian Hao. Oh, man. What are we gonna do now? Ooh, ooh, I have an idea. How about we form a mini human chain and then we can slowly take the box one by one. Damn. You know what? Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Shirley, do you have any other students to call upon? Listen up! It may look bad, but all we have to do is to move the rest of these boxes out of here and Auntie Tita will take it from there. Ah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, about that. She's not coming in today. So she's coming in tomorrow? She's not coming in anymore. What? what? Yeah. <sighs> it's not the first time she made someone quit. The school's handyman, the gardener... The IT support, the technician... She even made Mr James quit the marriage. Let's try to clear up as much as we can. And mopping is for mops and sweeping is for sweeps! It's not gonna help us clear up the staff room! And Mr Dan put down the snacks! No, I'm just trying to help clear up the mess! Can we ask for an extension? Yes, Sud Bing. As the new head of discipline, you should be the one to speak to Mr. James. This is, after all, your fault. Yeah, I guess you're right. It is my fault. But I'm, I'm going to make things right. The right way. I'll admit, I've struggled to swallow my pride and offer a sincere apology numerous times. And there have been times where my ego has clouded my judgement, leading to many unnecessary arguments, both in my personal and professional life. But I've come to realise that the true error lies in me not learning from these mistakes, especially if they impact others. Auntie Tita! You're back! What a big mess! So, can you clean it up in time? Who do you think I am? Of course I can! <laughs> now, go, go! Let me start cleaning. Um, actually, I was thinking maybe we can all help out since the staff room is our responsibility, right? Yes. yes. Well, just don't mess it up even more. Now let's get to work! What? I fixed it, right? Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Allen. We are ready for the inspection.
Very impressive teachers. This inspection has been greatly improved over past years. Yes, we expect this level of discipline in every year's inspection. What? Who put that there? I've never seen that before. Have you? Have I? It's not mine. Is it yours? <laughs>